In this lecture, we're going to begin setting up our mobile, our model, our mobile machine learning model here into the content view. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. So inside of our content view, we're going to add another button object. And this button is going to say classify. And when the user presses this button, we will classify our image on screen. So here we'll make a button called classify and you'll see that will appear right below next image. You can add some padding around the other button to just give a little space between the two. Okay, now on this classify button, we're going to have a function called classify image which is going to use our machine learning model. So let's go ahead and build this function because it's prompting us to do so. We are going to build the function inside of our view but outside of the body. This will be a private function called classify image. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is get our current image. So let's grab the current image from our images at the current index. Then we're going to have to pass this image to our machine learning model. But for that we first have to load in the model and then we have to actually prepare the image. Okay so currently we get this message that we're not using this current image. So this is just a warning. So we can comment out the line for now. This is just a warning that appears if you create a constant or a variable and then you never use it. Okay, so let's bring in our machine learning model. All right, so for that, I'm going to create a constant called model and bring in mobile net v2. So I can use mobile net v2 just like I would use any Swift class because when you drag in the CoreML model into the project, Xcode will automatically generate the class for you. So if you want to instantiate a new model, here you have to use new Swift 5.5 syntax. We have a do statement. We're going to let config equal ML model configuration and then we're going to return try mobile net v2 with our configuration of config and if that is not able to be performed we'll have a catch statement to catch any errors and we all we'll do is print the error if it appears and have a fatal error that says couldn't create mobile net v2 so you have to include this do catch statement for instantiating a machine learning model. You can't just instantiate it like you would a regular variable or a regular constant. Also, let's add in two parentheses here. So opening and closing parentheses to instantiate the model if it's able to. Okay, and let's see here. We have to also bring in CoreML now. If we want to use this ML model configuration class to create this object of a configuration for a, um, a CoreML model, you have to import CoreML. So at the top of your file here, you can see we already have imported Swift UI. We need to also import CoreML. That will allow us to access classes like ML model configuration. So just wait a moment, save the file, and the warnings and error messages will be gone. Great. Okay, so that is how you can instantiate the machine learning model objects. So we have an object of class mobile net v2. And if we want to be able to use this model, we can just call the model by its constant name. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.